What old arcade games are we going to play today? Is your tape recorder ready? Hi, nice to see you on this channel. Not everyone knows that many Atari 8-bit games were developed in Poland. Today I will briefly present a few Logic Arcade or typical arcade games. Some of them were also published in other countries and such foreign versions can also be found. This is my subjective selection and perhaps someone else would suggest other titles for this overview. Nevertheless, I hope that you will be interested. At the beginning, the 1989 game Robbo, published by LK Avalon, inspired by the famous Boulder Dash and later transferred to many other platforms, often with smaller or larger modifications, and also released under other titles, not all of the same author. Adventures of Robbo, iRobbo, Roboid. Returning, however, to the Atari 8-bit, the producer, after some time, prepared also board's editor, called Robbo Constructor. On each board you have to collect all the screws, while avoiding dangers. It's worth to add as a curiosity that LK Avalon has published a demo version containing four planets, which is equal to four boards. It was broadcast in 1991 in the radio computer show. Anyone could record the sound signal from the radio onto a tape and, as long as nothing disturbed the transmission, then load it as a software in the Atari production tape recorder. Today, in the age of the internet and the ability to connect to the global network almost anywhere, it's hard to believe that radio served as today's fiber optic cables or high-speed wireless connection. And as you can guess, it was not a fast transmission. The transfer of a typical game usually lasted a dozen or so minutes and sometimes even several dozen minutes of broadcast. It is also worth mentioning that the game has a cheat code, which was not common at the time, allowing you to get 80 robot lives, which undoubtedly make it easier to complete. When the user manual is being displayed, after loading the program, please enter the author's first name and surname on the keyboard, separated by space. Janusz Pelz. Then start the game with the joystick button and not with the start button. At the end, as curiosity, let's have a quick look on the Czech game clone called Robbo 96. Another game that has gained great popularity is a product released by the same company called Hans Kloss. Commodore 64 version is also available. The game refers to the title of the TV series, which at the time gained incredible popularity in Poland. The goal of the mission is to find 21 elements of a secret weapon stored in safes that could change the fate of World War II and to find a seal hidden in one of the chambers. Interestingly, neither the author of the game nor its publisher had permission to use the film character of Hans Kloss, but in the time of political transformation in Poland and of certain legal mess, it was not a problem.
The next item on my list is the game Fred from the same producer. Interestingly, while it has gained relatively high popularity in Poland, attempts to introduce it to foreign markets, including British, German and Dutch, in cooperation with foreign partners, have not been successful. Sales were quite modest. I'm wondering what caused the lack of success in those markets and at the same time such a good reception in Poland. On the other hand, foreign titles import to the Polish market was a bit more successful. LK Avalon became a distributor of the British company Zeppelin Games and of the German KE Soft, publishing several games within this cooperation. Coming back to Fred, in a nutshell, the game takes place in prehistoric times, when people lived in caves and pterodactyls flew around the world. In short, this is a game in the style of keep going right and conquer the world. The cheat code has been prepared here to facilitate its completion. In the version of the game with music, entering the words Mishu in the Polish version or Chaos in the English version on the title screen, the screen will flash, allows you to start the game from any level, select it using the keys 1 to 3 and further up to 0. Another game worth mentioning, and also released by LK Avalon, was Mission. Interestingly, it was sold in one set with Fred. In the result, the buyer got two excellent titles together. Here, in the same way as before, attempts were made to introduce the game on foreign markets under the name Mission Shark, and we are now watching this British version released by Zeppelin Games. It is a typical maze game, in which agent called Zombek traveled through an underground base consisting of as many as 145 chambers. Again, we have the cheat code for the game in the Mission Shark version entering J.Pelts on the title screen, the first letter of the author's first name and full surname enables immortality, the screen will flash. It is worth adding to this list of the most interesting Polish arcade games, the platformer Valdgirias Swords by ASF Company. The action takes place in the castle of Heldgor, where the player, as the dwarf Aldir, has to find five swords, collecting various items necessary to complete the mission and exchanging some of them with the characters he meets. The game was created, as well as other discussed next productions of this company, in assembly language using the Big Assembler editor from the same manufacturer. On the one hand, it gave more possibilities, on the other hand, it undoubtedly required better programming skills.
Another product of the same company is the game Artifact of the Ancestors. The aliens want to annihilate humanity. The only chance is to reach the military base where well-armed combat planes are hidden. A bit unusual about this game is the graphics, black and white, but very good quality. At the end it's time for the cult game, which is also produced by ASF, with a very surprising storyline. Research on the stem cells cultivation and whole organs was carried out in a secret scientific institute. Unfortunately, one of the nuclear reactors exploded and all the biomass that was irradiated turned into these twisting mutants. Now you, as the player, have to master this mess using a super modern helicopter. And how do you like my choice? Maybe you could add another title to this list. Please be sure to write in the comments what. Finally, let me remind you, before downloading any game, please make sure that you can do it legally and within the terms of the license. Some games are still available for sales despite the time passing. You can buy either the version released several dozen years ago or a few have nowadays collector's versions. Sometimes the latter is published by another company under a license granted by the previous publisher. Stay healthy.